Am I the asshole? For leaving when my mom told me to move my car so her neighbor's daughter can park in her driveway? Some backstory my mom has always wanted a daughter. Instead she ended up with two sons and six grandsons. Sixteen years ago, a young woman with a two-year-old daughter let's call the daughter Lily moved across the street from her. She was a single mom and didn't have any family in the area so my mom offered to help take care of the little girl while her mom worked studied. Over the years, she's become an adoptive mom grandmother to this woman and her daughter. She was there when the woman married her husband and had two more girls together. She's very close to the whole family but especially Lily. My mom was born and raised in Italy. My dad was French. My brother and I don't speak any French or Italian. Lily is not only fluent in French and Italian but she knows more about the culture than me or my brother and she knows all of my mom's recipes. My mom also helped pay for her private school tuition because she doesn't like the public schools in the area. Lily, my son, and my nephew graduated from high school in May. My son and my nephew each got a card and a check for $300. My mom took Lily to Europe for 8 weeks over the summer. I got to my mom's house with my sons last night. We planned on staying for a few days because we live 8 hours away. I was parked in the driveway, then right before dinner my mom told me I needed to move my car so Lily could park in her driveway. I said Lily could park on the street but my mom said no, the driveway is Lily's spot and I have to move so I told my sons to get our bags and we went home. My mom has been calling me since last night asking me to come back and saying I overreacted to being asked to move my car. I refused and my sons and I are celebrating without her but I'm starting to wonder if I was the asshole for leaving when my mom told me to move my car. Info. So getting the timeline right based off your comments, the woman and Lily moved by your parents when you were in your 30s, already married and moved out far enough to be a long drive, presumably so did your brother. Is that right? Not the asshole as we sat around here, this isn't about the Iranian yogurt. This is a reaction to years of feeling second class to Lily because, as sons, you somehow did not fulfill some weird desire of your mom's preferred genitalia. I'm sorry you've all felt this way for so long, it's hard to watch your mom seemingly show someone else more affection than they do to you. Have you ever actually laid it all out for her like you have here for us? Not the asshole. It is ridiculous unnecessary to make you feel like second class. Just a worried power move to ask you to move your car. Not the asshole Lily could easily park in the street, and you were there first. Weird, rude power move. It's not Lily's spot, it's just your mom's driveway. First come, first dibs. Not the asshole. The whole situation was about much more than moving the car. I'm so sorry your mom takes you for granted. I really hope you and your boys have a great holiday. Do your son and nephew feel slighted on their graduation gift compared to Lily's? I'm curious others' feelings on this as well. Not the asshole. Was it extreme and not even about the spot? Absolutely. However, it sounds like your mom has favored some random human over you so I'd probably harbor resentment as well. Op is just as valid as every other person that comes here and gets back for being put second to a golden cold. If not more so this isn't even her kid. Not the asshole the fact that you know your mom always wanted a daughter and is upset to have received only sons tells a lot. The rest just builds it up. Info. How often does your mom see your son and nephew? She's with Lily's family every day. Who helps her with daily stuff? It sounds like she favors Lily for sure, but is it because she's the person who's there for her? No judgment, ATM, you need to express your feelings towards your mom. Maybe she and Lily have many deep heart to hearts see what it is she's missing from her relationship with you guys. It may have nothing to do with the genders. You're the asshole, your mom is allowed to have chosen family. Get over it. Info were your boys happy to leave as well? Not the asshole. From the backstory, this was possibly the straw that broke the camel's back for you around how your mother and her relationship with her adopted family. You, your brother, and now your families, been treated like second class importance. I understand why it would seem extreme over a parking spot, and after driving 8 hours. How does your brother feel about this? Info. We planned on staying for a few days because we live 8 hours away. I told my sons to get our bags and we went home. Am I reading this correctly? You arrived after an 8 8 hour trip, stayed a short while, was told to move your car which, make no mistake, sucks your mom is definitely an asshole for that and then you and your sons got right back in the car and drove 8 8 hours to go home? Do I have that right? It's not about the driveway. 
but it's probably worth having a conversation with your mom and telling her that you're the asshole. Not the asshole. I'm sorry your mom loves someone else's kid more than she loves her own. Not the asshole Lily isn't her family you and your child are. She should be happy to have the son she was given and not try to put a neighbor above you. Not the asshole. Lily could have parked on the street or at her own family's house. Honestly if she wants to put someone who isn't family before her own children grandchildren, then I would have done the same thing too. To be fair, it's easy to be there for someone every day if you live right across the street rather than 8 hours drive away. I have an adopted grandson and a bio one on the gut give me a prod if I should ever show an iota of favoritism as I really love the one that's here already so much and wouldn't wasn't either grandchild to feel less than. The final straw wasn't bigger than any other, it was simply the last one. Not the asshole. I wouldn't be surprised if Lily stood to inherit the most from your mom. Not the asshole mom needs a timeout, mom got a timeout. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I'm sorry, but why can't Lily park in the driveway across the street? Where her parents still live, presumably. I'm sorry you and your sons have to endure this. If I were you, I would be calling her out about the 8 weeks abroad versus the $300 checks. That's something I can't let go of. Not the asshole. In fact, if you had stayed, something else would have happened and things would have really blown up. Plus your mother had the chance to say, I'm sorry. I always let Lily park in that space. I should have explained to her that you drove 8 hours and asked her to park on the street. Or I forgot to mention that Lily rents that space from me. But, no, she said you overreacted. I'm sorry your mother favors her neighbor over you for all those reasons mentioned. Not the asshole. I wish your mom could show that level of love for you, your siblings and burr grandchildren. Why do you decide who parks in someone else's driveway? Why do you decide how much money your mom spends on people? Why do you get to decide who she spends it on? I seriously doubt that you spent the same amount of time w her that Lily did because you had your own family to take care of. You're the asshole stop being jealous. Not the asshole. Your mother has spent years making you and you're a second place to her neighbor. I would have left too. Not the asshole but tell you mom what you told us here. It may do nothing, but she should know that is why you left, not just because of a parking spot. Don't let the resentment eat away at you. Not the asshole your mom is the ah. Uh. She seems to think that Lily is her daughter and one day she's going to have a rude awakening. I don't blame your mom for helping the woman and her child, that's admirable. But the blatant favoritism is not okay. You drove 8 hours and she won't even let you park in the driveway? I would have left as well. And I also would go between LC and NC leaning more towards NC. Not the asshole. Guess Lily and her mom will be the ones taking care of your mom when she reaches that age. Nope, not the asshole I think there is more than one way to communicate and you sent your mother a message. I'm curious, where is Ops comment about his mom paying for his son's college funds? I saw a few references by other commenters but can't find the original source of this. Not the asshole. It was the straw that broke the camel's back. She has shown that she prefers Lily over your entire family. Not the asshole she has shown that Lily outranks you and your sons. She needs a wake up call and maybe this is it or it's going to be up to you whether you want to continue with being less than to your own mom. Not the asshole there is clear favoritism going on. I would have probably reacted the same way. But then again my mom would never do something like that. A holiday to Europe for 8 weeks? That sounds like a much bigger issue than car parking. It's not really about car parking for you either, though. Sounds obvious, but maybe your mom is projecting onto Lily and her mom that they are the daughter-granddaughter she never had. Friendships are one thing, but I would be more concerned your mom is not being taken advantage of. She sounds like a very kind and generous person and some people would use that. Not the asshole at least you can leave your shitty mom's end of life care up to Lily. Not the asshole and if Lily's mom lives across the street, why can't she just park in her mom's driveway directly across down the street? Your mom asked for it. Not the asshole. But the more important question is are you and your sons enjoying yourselves more by celebrating without your mom? If the answer is yes, then who cares if you're the ah or not? Peace of mind is priceless. Not the asshole. Mom's position is clear. You made yours clear too. Not the asshole, but you really do suck at communicating. You should have told your mom long ago how she is showing favoritism to this girl who isn't even her actual grandchild over her actual grandkids all because she has the right set of genitalia your mom likes. 
If you don't ever say anything then your mom will never know how you feel, and more than likely really just thinks you were mad about a parking spot instead of the real reasons you were mad at her.